coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. NASA confirms Dragon Demo 2's return date. Check sport aircraft files for insolvency. And Icon Aircraft is under new management. Welcome back. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm Sophie Herlock. On Friday, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine took to Twitter to announce SpaceX's Dragon Endeavor spacecraft will be departing from the International Space Station on August 1st, carrying astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley home after their historic Launch America mission. The spacecraft is targeted to splash down to Earth on August 2nd. However, weather conditions could cause this date to change. Launch America is a public-private partnership between NASA and multiple private space companies. SpaceX's Crew Dragon Demo-2 mission was the first launch to occur under this program back in late May, and was the first launch of astronauts to the space station from U.S. soil since 2011. NASA officials are currently evaluating multiple locations in the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico for Endeavour to splash down, but it's currently believed the Gulf of Mexico will have the most favorable weather conditions for an early August splashdown. The mission served as an end-to-end -end test flight to validate the space SpaceX crew transportation system, including launch, in-orbit docking, landing operations, and paved the way for certification for regular crewed flights to the station. For future operation missions, Crew Dragon will be able to launch four crew members and carry more than 220 pounds of cargo, increasing research time aboard the space station and allowing for more scientific discoveries to return to Earth. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. United Airlines and ALPA have come to an agreement on initiatives to help reduce future pilot layoffs due to staffing imbalances caused by the pandemic. Earlier this month, United Airlines warned it may have to furlough over 2,000 pilots and cut as many as 36,000 total employees when their federal bailout money runs out at the end of September. This agreement between United Airlines and ALPA includes early retirement packages for pilots nearing the age of 65, company leave of absence programs, as well as voluntary furlough offers that will allow pilots to maintain their benefits. The company said it designed these furlough mitigation programs and early out options to find as many volunteers as possible who are interested in stepping back from active flying. On July 9th, the Air Force Test Pilot School said farewell to outgoing Commandant Colonel Ryan Black and welcomed their new Commandant Colonel Sabrina Pabon, the first woman and non-pilot Commandant of the school since its inception in 1944. Pabon graduated from Test Pilot School in 2006 as a flight test engineer and soon after served as Chief of Flight Test Safety and Flight Commander with the 416th Flight Test Squadron at Edwards Air Force Base. I am extremely honored and humbled for this amazing opportunity to serve and lead this outstanding team as we continue to educate and train our future flight test professionals, Pavon stated. American Airlines will be sending 25,000 notices of potential furloughs to their employees due to the overstaffing and lack of business they expect to see when their CARES Act funding runs out. The warnings are being sent to 2,500 pilots, 10,000 flight attendants, and 3,200 mechanics. The airline did note, however, if Congress were to send out another round of payroll support, it would greatly reduce the need to furlough employees throughout the industry. 
NASA is now targeting October 31st of 2021 for the launch of the agency's James Webb Space Telescope from French Guiana. This decision is based on a recently completed scheduled risk assessment of the remaining integration and test activities prior to launch. The telescope was originally scheduled to launch in March of 2021. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Reports filed in the Czech Republic claim Czech Sport aircraft is deeply in debt and filed for insolvency late last month. CSA is reported to owe creditors 62.6 million crowns, with most of that debt being owed to Invest Finance Slovakia. Media reports based on insolvency documentation state it's already been proposed that the court declare bankruptcy, while the regional court in Brno has already approved the motion to start the process. This is not the first time CSA has run into financial trouble. The company allegedly lost 28 million crowns crowns in 2017, with revenues of over 140 million crowns. The company produces the Cruiser Aircraft line, which includes the Sport Cruiser and PS28 Cruiser, both all metal, low wing side-by-side two-seaters with Rotax power. Currently, CSA states are on a company holiday until the 26th and will not be able to respond to any information requests by business partners until they return. Following the previously reported lawsuit by former CEO and founder Kirk Hawkins and the sudden departure of their president and COO Thomas Wieners, Icon has recently named Jason Huang as their new president. Huang steps into his role after numerous complaints about the ownership experience have been well documented. According to Icon, as president, Huang will oversee all business functions with a particular focus on maintaining manufacturing excellence product development and innovation, and providing an ownership experience that is second to none. Huang has more than 30 years of engineering and management experience in the manufacturing and software industries with deep experience in product research and development methodologies, as well as end-to-end -end product development. Prior to joining Icon, Huang worked at EMC and OpenText as head of cloud platform engineering and operations. And that was our last story of the day. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to click the subscribe button and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. Head over to aero-news.net for the latest aviation and aerospace news any time of the day. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you back here Wednesday.